Hey guys, it's Thanger. So hopefully you guys are enjoying patch 2.4 season 5. I know a lot of you are enjoying the Thorns, the Invoker's Thorns build because it's really fun, it's really easy, and it's a really, really great starter build as well. Even if you don't have all the wet items, you can still do a lot of uh, high grader rifts as well. So this video is just a little touch up. It's an update since it's live now, and a lot of you have questions, and I'll answer, I'll answer in this video. Um, I may miss a few questions, so please let me know. So I won't go into much into the build itself like my normal videos since you pretty much know how it works and what to do but I'll link the video in the description down below and in the annotation and the video as well okay so if you don't know how it works just click on it and then you'll find out so let's do a little recap on uh, what the build is and then we'll go into the questions and then the variation for a higher grader rift okay and also variation for a t10 farming build Okay, so this is pretty much what you're used to seeing. This is the Invoker's Thorns build. I know a few items have been switched around for the Kanai Cube and your equipment slot, your inventory slot, but it's the exact same build, okay? Um, so we're going to do a recap now. Um, how Thorns work is the high amount of Thorns damage you get from the items, strength and vitality, um, and then your attack speed, the faster you kill things, of course, sorry, the faster you can attack means that you you can apply thorns much faster which means things die much faster and then the third most important thing in this build is blocking blocking is very important in this build because it will help us get more cooldown reduction sorry cooldowns that means that we can do more things with our skill so how that works is because we are using Akarat's Awakening right here. So the legendary power, every successful block has a 25% chance to reduce all cooldown by one second. So that means is every single time you block, you have a 25% chance to reduce your cooldowns by one second. So, the, so you want to do more blocking in this build. And it's very, very important because the more cooldowns you have up, which means that you can do more damage and you can survive a lot more. So let's look at this right here. So, uh, Iron Skin with ref Reflect Damage. Uh, when it's up, when you activate it, you get a 300% increase for your Thorns for 4 seconds, right? When you couple that with, let's say, Conventions of Elements right here, um, and with the physical, sorry, the Earthen one, right there, right there, the physical damage increase, when you couple them together, you do a whole shit ton of damage, which means that the Elite Mobs die really, really quick and really, really fast. Even if you don't couple them to synchronize them together, they still die because of the uh, the iron skin reflective damage right there so that's why we want how that's why we want to block as much as we can plus also we want to activate the laws of just with decaying strength which give us a lot of toughness and Akarat's champion right here with profit rune as well so that's why blocking is very very important and also somebody has asked me why not 100% blocking well because we only have a maximum of 75% blocking total so that's why we can't block 100% of the time and also if you play group play it's very important that you solo things or, th or that people don't stun things or that people don't taunt mobs off of you because you want to block as much as you can like I said the more cooldowns you have up means the more damage you can do which means that you can survive a lot more Okay, so the next thing is that why not use vitality stats versus strength stats? Uh, the reason is because although the Heart of Iron right here gives you thorns equal to X amount, 300 as a maximum of your vitality, the problem is it's been nerfed since the PTR. It only gives you 300 versus 500. Um, not only that, the vitality stats only give you thorns and uh, HP, right? It doesn't give you that much toughness versus let's say the strength stat which gives you uh, thorns and armor armor is higher toughness I believe than the vitality is but also the fact that when you use Akarat's champion with a profit rune your armor is increased well you gain an additional 150 5% 150% additional armor while Akarat's champion is active um, so that is why you want armor. So you get more toughness, more toughness uh, when you couple it with the uh, Law of Justice, Decaying Strength, and the Ag Aquila Caress, and a certain other thing as well. I usually have 750 million toughness when I'm playing a higher grader rift. So it means that I actually don't die. I actually don't die unless I'm doing really, really stupid things or um, if I hit into the avenging mobs, right? The, that's, that's about it. So that's why you want strength versus vitality. Now the next thing is that 
in my PTR video, I use diamond gems. Uh, the reason is because at the current time, I couldn't survive. Diamond gems are really, really great for really high greater rifts, right? Let's say if you're using strength, gems and you're not able to survive the higher grade rift then use diamond diamond gems it's it's really up to you whichever one you want to use but if you keep dying what's the point in using strength gems right so diamond gems are great for survivability that's pretty much it it's your choice to do um, so I think that's pretty much the oh and also why not use uh, the real ring of royal, royal grandeur and the single nar ram brace well the reason is because you're losing out on conventions of elements when you couple it with the uh, iron skin right here you're losing a lot of damage even though let's say uh, the Vam single nar ram braces give you a chance to inflict a hundred a thousand percent of your um, of your thorns to uh, where is it of your thorns to uh, enemies it's not as great as conventions of elements in the end where where is this bullcrap I can't find it unless I, I already did huh da, da, da. there we go swing sanguinary uh, embrace it's not it's not a great it's not a great item versus conventions of elements in the end. That's why you don't want to use that. And also, why not use the hack ver and the blood, uh, blood, where is it? The, uh, I don't think it's in here. The blood, the, the, the other dagger. Well, because uh, pick sticker is really great. It also has a secondary bonus right there. Uh, X amount of damage to beasts and humans. A lot of time it's beasts and humans as well. A lot of time I know it's ghosts and demons, but you know, against uh, beast and humans, it's it's a really great weapon. So that's why I use pig sticker. Uh, what else was there? Oh, gem wise, why not use simplicity strength versus the uh, Bioski or whatever? These things, these things are one. The bane of the stricken is for Rift Guardian bosses. If you were to use the bane of the powerful versus the bane of the stricken, you're gonna lose a lot of time on the. Rift Guardian bosses. You will notice it. I've done. I've tried that before. It did not work out. Why not use Simplicity Strength with the Bane of Trap? Well, because Bane of Trap is actually greater. It will amplify all the damage, not just your main primary primary um, skill. So that's why you want to use these three versus the other threes, the other ones. So those are the questions. Now, for high greater rifts, we actually need to. Um, sorry. That's supposed to be there. We need to actually just modify our weapons a little bit. So we'll always be using uh, Akarat's Awakening equipped on us. Um, now for the Kanai Cube, we just have to change one single item. So instead of the uh, Voitovia Spiker right here, we actually want to use the Blood Brother right there. So the legendary power grants a 20% chance to block attacks, which means now my block is at 92%, but because it's only 75, I'm at maximum then. Uh, Blood Brother uh, block to 20% uh, block increase, but blocked attacks inflict 30% less damage, which means that we get we can survive a little bit longer more. And then after block and attack, your next attack inflicts 30% additional damage. So when you couple that with Iron Skin and Conventions of Elements, you're gonna do a whole shit ton of damage. Period. Okay, so that's why we want to use Blood Brother for survivability and for increase in damage. And then, uh, since we're not using the Votovia Spiker anymore, we want to change Provoke into Steed Charge Endurance. So this will help us from moving uh, one area to the next area. Okay, so it will help us to hunt those elites and kill them super fast and super easy. I know I like to use say, say super easy because it is super easy. Anyway, so that is just pretty much the change that you need to do for a higher greater rift to survive a lot longer and do a lot more damage. Okay. Okay, so the last part of this is going to be pretty much a basic sum up of the uh, T10 bounty run or whatever fast run, even a normal rift. Um, so what you need is the swift mount right here. So it will double the duration of our speed charge right there. And then we'll need to have a diamond gem in our helm. Okay, we will also change the Aquila Caress right here because T10 really does not do that much damage, especially when you have high toughness. And also things really die fast as well. So we want Leoric's Crown to double our um, socket, the, the gem in our socket. 
so we can have higher uh, cooldown reduction. And then we want to change the Blood Brother into right here, the Mortal Drama right there, so that we can do bombardments. Uh, so you'll have the Belvo Trove right here, which summons bombardments at a random nearby location every uh, six to eight seconds. Now, because we have the Mortal Drama, that means we need to change some of our skills a little bit, okay? So what we need to change is Love Justice right here. I didn't I didn't click that. I was weird. Uh, we need to change it into Bombardment, and then we need to change it into Barrel of Spikes because Barrel of Spikes is increased by our Thorns damage by 200%. So that means things just die faster. And also, um, your Bombardment cooldown, the skill cooldown, is not tied in with the Belt of Trove. So you can the Belt of Trove can like. Summon the bombardment, the the barrel of spikes, and then you can use your bombardment as well. So it's like double times double. So that's that's quite a lot of bombardments. And then we want to change our hold our ground into Lord Commander, so that our bombardment cooldown is reduced by thirty five percent, and our steed cooldown is also reduced by twenty five percent. So what that means is when you have let's say around 47 48 percent cooldown reduction your steed is gonna you can change your steed chain like this watch your steed is gonna be forever endless which means you can move in and out of things super fast you can get to your objective really fast without having to kill any single mob at all and the cool thing about D charges is that it runs through things not only that you can click you can click on things while being on it and you won't get dismounted. You won't get interrupted as well. So that is pretty much the change from your normal uh, Thorns Invokers build to a T10 uh, speed run. Now also, um, the gems that we're going to use is the normal Bioski gem chip right here for our increase in uh, Thorns damage. And then we're going to always going to be using the Bane of Trap because it's a static X amount of damage always. The last gem is up to you. I would not recommend the Bane of the Stricken. The reason is because this is really for the Griff Guardians only. Even at bosses, you know, normal T10 bosses, they die pretty quick. So this is not a huge deal. You can use the Bane of the Powerful if you want to, because Bane of the Powerful gives you increased damage to at least by 15%. Or uh, and then when you kill an elite mobs, you kill you get 20, an extra twenty percent overall to everything for an X amount of time. Uh, you don't have to use that. You can even use the molten wild beast gizzard if you're afraid of dying fast. This give will give you a shield and constantly life per second. Okay. Now if you don't want to use that, you can use other gems too. Where's my gems here? Um, you can use the Wreath of Lightning so you get more movement speed, but you're always on your steed charge, so you might not need that. You can use uh, the Boon of the Hoarder, Gold, and then Speed if you want to. But like I said, those three, those uh, those gems will be work perfectly fine. So that is pretty much a change for the T10 uh, bounty uh, farming build. See, I'm just going on my horse here all the time. But that's it. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, a thumbs up would definitely be appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Or come to my stream when I stream and ask me questions there. Because um, I do answer a lot of questions on my stream versus on these videos. Uh, so come there and enjoy. And also, we're about to hit 5,000 subscribers, which means that something special is coming. Anyways, thank you guys so much again for watching. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!